People don't realize it, but when you think of county government, you don't always think of public health and safety. But that is one of the main responsibilities that a county has in looking out for its citizenry. Today, I want to talk a little bit about that when it comes to the level of the lake. We've heard about the recreation, the boating you can't do, the skiing. You've heard about the restaurants that have been hurt financially, the hotels. There's a lot of things and people that have been affected by this low lake. But what I want to talk about today is the fire danger. A lot of people don't think of that in connection with the low lake. But we have spots in this county where you can't, there's one way out. Finley Point, Malita Island Road, this area we're in right now, there's one way out. And if that gets blocked with a fire, they have their boat sitting there, ready to get in the water at a moment's notice in the event of a fire where their land access is cut off. Water's it, you have to get in your boat to escape. And that has been taken away from hundreds of people on this lake with the low water. When we talk about the boat access and not being able to get off, I've had people say, well, the lake's too low six, seven months of the year to get in and out with a boat. The, the goes down every year and comes back up in the spring. Well, the difference is that's not the fire season. That's in the time of year when we're not having the fires. There aren't as many people on the lake. The summer people have gone back to their other residences and it's, it's an entirely different situation and it does not compare to what we're talking about right now. We're talking about the dangers of the low water in the fire season. In the last two years, Lake County and the surrounding counties, we've lost numerous structures here, many houses. Uh, Sanders in, uh, had a fire just recently, they lost over 13 houses. It happens here and it's gonna happen more. It's not when it happens or if it happens, it's going to happen. We just know that and we have to prepare for it. And that's why we really seriously have to look at the level of the lake when we look at that equation. We have to save that area for people to be able to escape. We have a sheriff boat or a search and rescue boat and the way it's set up, we have a big water cannon we can put on it. So we could come in from the shore and fight a house fire if it was next to the lake. Well, the water's so low in so many of these places, that's useless. We can't get to a point where we can use that water cannon. It's a serious issue. So I'm a year-round resident out here on Kings Point, and one of our main concerns, or at least mine and my family's, is getting off the island if the road gets cut off. If fire crews are coming in or tree falls, we have no way to get off the island. Two years ago, we had a, a fire over by Finley Point, and my first instinct was, if I lived over there, at least I can get out on my boat. Here, with the lake water this low, there's no way to do that. Uh, we have probably 60 to 70 homes out on this, on the, the side of the bridge, with no access to the mainland if that gets cut off. So for us, we're trapped. As far as fire safety goes on this, when we have fires that happen, they happen very quickly, usually from lightning strikes and such. And the fires now that we're getting are very active and they're very quick. And they start and a lot of times there's places where there's only one road in and one way in, one way out type of deal. And if that access gets caught up in such places on the lake, and there's a lot of them, we're gonna have a real issue of getting people out of the places. And with the lake level being as low as it is right now, that's an escape route for people and they can't get out. I think the factor that the lake is so low right now and people can't use it as an escape route is huge. That causes a lot of problems for the fire departments, for the sheriff's department of getting people out of the areas. And with not being able to get on the lake to get out of the way, it's gonna cause some problems. We're probably gonna lose some houses. We're gonna lose some people if they get caught in the fires. One thing that I remember about the fire situations, we did have a fire on Kings Point right at the causeway and the fire truck could not get across the causeway because it was too hot. They couldn't get close to the fire. So it had to be put out with fire boats, which they pulled right up to the shoreline and, and aimed their water cannons at it and put it out. We've been talking about safety issues of being able to escape or leave uh, Kings Point Island if there is a fire. But even if a boat was able to come to rescue, there's a lot of elderly residents that wouldn't even be able to get into the boat. It's a three foot drop from your dock down to the water. And when you bring a boat up, it's almost impossible to get down into the, to the boat without hurting yourself. And so that is a very large concern that I have. 
When we deal with this problem with the low lake, it's something the county has limited ability to deal with. So we are working with other entities in Flathead County to try to help address these issues. And we need to work with energy keepers to try to come to a solution on this. We need to have warning ahead of time so that we can plan, okay, the lake's gonna go down, it's gonna be down at this point. I'm gonna get my boat out right now, or I'm not gonna put my boat in. Or there's a lightning storm tonight, I don't have a boat to get out on, I'm gonna go to town and stay at a hotel tonight. I mean, I've had comments like that from citizens in different areas of the county. So it's a concern to people and it's a concern to the county and it needs to be brought to everyone's attention and it needs to be part of the equation in solving this issue.